This video was brought to you by this comment. Alright, so someone wanted me to do a video on the derelicts that may or may not show up in Railjack. So, we're going to get into that. So, here we are in Bruce Warfield with my Railjack, the Catherine Gaza, and Wisp. And basically the reason why we're at Bruce Warfield for a change is that we can only come across these derelicts, or at least accessible derelicts, from Roos Warfare. They won't spawn in any other missions. So, real quick, you are looking for a derelict that looks like this. You could sometimes come across a very, very large looking derelict, like this one down here. So if we try to approach it with our Arcwing, which of course is the slow method, because Arcwings are slower than Railjacks, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You'll find that this particular derelict here with a lot of rocks around it, that's not the derelict jet you're looking for. Perhaps in the future, DE will make all derelicts potentially accessible, which will be really, really interesting. But until then, we only have this derelict, and only one derelict that can be accessed will ever spawn in Roost Warfield. So what we're going to do is we're just going to enter it, and hopefully this is not a dud derelict. It is not a dud derelict. And you know for a fact it's not a dud derelict, because we do have, in fact, an objective marker inside the derelict that is of course really really good so basically it's a really straightforward approach to doing this it's basically um make your way to the objective marker and then we'll go from there you can of course just kill all the infested who are here and it's only going to be infested as far as i can tell there's never any corpus and i don't think we'll ever find any uh gradia. so that's that so we're just going to slowly make our way to uh the objective marker they're supposed to be way more infested than this, and I would like to take a bit of damage so I can you know, get some energy. Ah, thank you. Oh, so good. So good. I'll do a Wisp build soon as well, by the way, because this Wisp is, um, as you might tell, it's a bit different to my normal Wisp. So, we made it to our objective marker, and it's basically, well, you just have to hack it. This is a really, really straightforward objective. Now that we've hacked it, we've got our thing. We don't know what it is, and the only t way we'll know what it actually is, is if we actually complete the mission. So, why do we actually want to do something like the uh, derelict? Why do people actually want to look around for the derelict? The derelict is where you get Spectra Vandal parts. And at the present moment, as of recording anyway, Spectra Vandal is a pretty decent way of getting quite a significant amount of plat. Because one set of Spectra Vandal parts is apparently 100 plat. On the, on the market, so that's really good. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Again, a really, really straightforward objective, so just keep doing them and make sure that you actually complete the mission as well, otherwise you're not gonna get whatever unidentified item you received. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.